It's a 24-hour laboratory, so there's somebody here um, 24 hours a day. I actually started here as a student. Um, part of my uni university degree course was the option to do a bursary year placement, which I took. During that year, you complete your IBMS registration portfolio. You go back to university the year after and complete your, complete your degree. Uh, and I was lucky enough to be taken on straight after finishing my degree. Uh, within the laboratory, we analyse blood samples, and so we get lots of samples coming in from GPs, other hospitals, uh, or other satellite hospital, Chorley. So we get a, a range of samples from, the majority of it is blood-based, but we do get urine samples, and TSF samples, and fluids. Some specialist tests that we offer, some uh, outside hospitals will send them to us, and we do them as well. We've got two main laboratories. Uh, one an automated laboratory and this is the one for more specialist chemistries. There's lots of interactions from GPs to uh, clinicians to other file, um, fellow biomedical scientists at other hospitals when we're chasing up things that we've sent to them or they've sent to us. Um, occasionally you have patients ringing in as well, you know, asking for, you know, sample requirements, you know, some tests that the GP has asked them to do and they want to know, you know, um, what are the guidelines for that test. So we interact with a, a whole variety of um, professionals within the NHS and hospital framework and outside. Um, we do have a small amount of patient contact as well. Um, we do sweat testing uh, which is based on the children's ward so um, every Thursday you know people that are doing the sweat tests have that interaction and that's really nice to see the patients. It does benefit patients. We know that 70% of diagnosis comes through patho you know, pathology in general results and we know that the results that we're turning out are actually helping people so it's really for the patients but um, it is a varied job and we do do all sorts of um, different things but sometimes you do get the chance to see the patient, you sort of you phone a result and you see that the patient's been admitted and then later on you see they get discharged so you know that what you did actually contributed to that patient pathway and so it is you know, uh, a worthwhile job what might be considered a back, back room service isn't really a back room service, I would consider it a frontline service because without it A&E would never work. So it's up to us to get those results out, to make sure those results are right and to make sure that they're communicated to the doctors so that they can action them, especially if they're urgent results. Um, that can mean the difference sometimes between someone getting treatment A and treatment B, which in the long run can make all the difference. Me and my wife will both work here in hospital and every day we have a, uh, that compassion that, okay, whatever we have learned so far, we're going to put that learning into practice. And this is one thing that uh, keeps us going, that, okay, today we're going to go to work, we're going to do this job, you know, and we're going to get it right the first time because that's the, that's the, uh, the aim of the trust, like, you know, giving the service providing the right service and we feel very happy when uh, sometime we get uh, uh, kind of comments from the other side requesting so oh thank you very much you saved a life of somebody just by but we are doing only our job but impact is really big massive i would say uh, so yes that's the that's the thing it's quite rewarding in some disciplines in pathology you're just doing the preparatory work whereas we um, the results that we produce actually have um, a direct impact on the patient's care and management. So the results that we have produced in the laboratory will have an impact on their care and management and that's very rewarding that there's a patient at the end of the day that we're helping. That's what it's all about, feeling like you're making a difference. If you can make a difference and get qualifications and get help for education, then I can't think of a better combination really. A number of staff have been supported to go on to do their specialist portfolios, which means they could then um, be considering a more senior role. There's also management courses that are quite openly encouraged, and um, a couple of members of staff managed to do their MSCs as well. So, um, if you're keen and want to progress, there are opportunities. We have a good training officer who supports people, and um, they can give them advice. Some people might even want to sort of change from one discipline to another. There's plenty of support and encouragement to try and progress yourself. If you've got the motivation, the qualifications are there and you'll get all, all the support you need to complete them. I've always been encouraged, I've always been, uh, what's, the, what's the best way to describe it? I've always felt appreciated.
It's like your second family here because the people that you're working with, you, you know, you get to know them really well and outside work as well. We do like charity events and other social um, events like Christmas. Um, if somebody's leaving, have a leaving do or a special birthday or a retirement. Yes, and we keep in contact with colleagues that are left as well. You know, they always come and join us. So it's very friendly here and then you get looked after. It's uh, um, a lovely second family that you have here at work. Preston, um, as a city, I would say, it's a small city. Everything is handy here. I mean, if you want to fly somewhere, you've got uh, Liverpool, you've got Manchester International Airport. Um, as far as Preston City is concerned, it's easy to go anywhere. There's not much traffic here. So uh, to raise a family, is a very good place. We found that there was more interesting countryside to come and live in around here. We're not far from uh, the Forest of Bowland and then the Lake District. And so there are some stunning scenery, uh, though it is a sort of a built up area, Preston. As soon as you get outside, you're into some fantastic countryside. And so that suited both of us and our you know, interest in cycling and walking. There's plenty of activities to do in town. I do Thai boxing myself, I go to the gym a lot. Shopping's not bad, there's plenty, plenty of shopping centres and there's a decent nightlife as well. Preston's a, a good place to live, I would say. The equipment that's coming in right now is the, cut, the cutting edge. Um, it's only just become available in the UK and I think we are only the second place in the UK to actually be upgraded to this, uh, this type of machinery. As science is moving on and changing um, ever so quickly, so are we. We get new machines in, new tests in, and again it's benefiting that patient at the end of the day. It's all about being at the forefront of technology, uh, making sure that the results that we generate are accurate, so that the doctors can act in the best interest of the patient, and that we can get the most job satisfaction for making sure that our results are correct and quick.